Hello and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. We are, um, well, I'm, I'm kind of breaking even in some ways. Um, I just spent quite a lot of time doing some inventory management and, uh, sorting out a lot of my junk. We have armor repair kit. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, I upgraded a couple of our guns. I actually, um, f I'm pretty much fully repaired this AK-104. Um, obviously there's some parts that need to be maintained, um, and I might try and do that at some point. That barrel needs replacement for sure. Um, it's basically broken. But, um, the main thing I'm a little bit concerned about right now is our food situation. So, I'm thinking... Where does this go? Darkscape. I've never been to the Darkscape, and I don't think I want to go there just yet. I'm thinking we're going to go back to the swamp. Um, there's a few things to do there. I can't tell if this is in the swamp or Agriprom. Is this an Agriprom? Yeah, it is an Agriprom. I think there's a way to get to Agriprom for this, from the swamp and, like, better navigate it without having to deal with, um, yeah, anyway. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna head west. I'm a little bit concerned about all these sounds I'm hearing. At the very least, I don't expect this gun will jam all that often anymore. Wouldn't mind seeing what that is. What is... I think those are things I killed. Things are mostly uneventful. What are we shooting at exactly? And are you a bad guy? More of these questions. Just gonna walk right up to him. See what's up. See what, what he's doing. How are you doing, friend? You okay? I, I'm like right up to him and I still can't tell. Why are you shooting that poor dead dog? I think he is actually a bad guy. Yeah, at the very least my reputation, he was military. My reputation didn't go down when I uh, killed him. So that's, you know, the bare necessity. We have a PP uh, 2000. We've got some ammo. I'm going to be a bit more picky choosy about um, what I pick up. We definitely want to grab this armored suit, or at least we want to disassemble it. Um, I am going to, yeah, I'm going to start being a bit more picky choosy. I did learn a couple of things. Actually, hold on a second. There was a pretty good part there. Um... Functional trigger mechanism. We're gonna field strip that trigger mechanism Did I get it? I can't tell sometimes if I got it. That's not the thing I got or at least that's not the thing I wanted I guess it is the thing I wanted It showed me it being a lot better condition than that But uh, whatever that's fine but Yeah, I'm gonna be a bit more picky choosy. Um, you know, I, I'm kind of tired of uh running into inventory uh, encumbrance issues. I did, um, by the way, I, I, uh, it, this was off screen. This is actually in the first episode, technically the stream, the, the, when I streamed soccer, I got a backpack frame and I figured out I can just like drop it on our backpack. And now my maximum weight is now 82, um, uh, kilograms, which is way better than what I was at before. I think it was at like 65 or something. So I, I essentially added like another 20 kilograms of weight on on our uh, capacity. So I should be able to loot a lot more stuff and hoard a bunch more stuff, um, which you know isn't going to really stop me running into this problem where I constantly am over encumbered because I like to pick up everything. But at the very least, it will mitigate it. Now this bridge is usually a problem. We don't necessarily have to go here. I can go to the swamps over here. 
Um, probably it's a better idea, actually. Let's go that way. I don't really want to go over there. This place may be fairly clear now. I don't have to worry about it. We are, um, we do have a bit of water. Let's drink some water. I do want to find some more water. Um, and we do have a thing we can cook up. We've got some mutant meat I can cook. Oof. Hate those helicopters. But yeah, um, when I say we're breaking even, um, you know, like, I'm just barely staying ahead of our, uh, bullet demands we we are constantly in need of ammunition it feels like um it seems like um my specific requirements or at least my the the requirements um for my ammunition are pretty hefty like i i actually looked at um how um i would go about um this is like crafting some bullets and i don't actually have despite all of the disassembling and um stuff i've been acquiring I don't actually have what I need to make one pack of bullets, which is kind of wild to me. Uh, we need to be going west. Because, like, I've been picking up quite a lot of stuff and disassembling quite a lot of stuff, and I disassembled a lot of 762, and yet I don't really have enough to make, um, like, a bundle of bullets. So that's that's wild, but um, you know that I'm not I'm not too demoralized. I'm not too distraught about it I'm just gonna have to keep powering through and I definitely do need that um, I, I, I know a bit better what I need in order to make some things and I also figured out I can make a couple of other things like um, I now have what I require to Craft the next um, artifact detector. It's called the bear detector um I don't have all of the parts, but I do have the advanced toolkit. That's the major gate um, preventing me from making the bear detector. So that's a nice chunk of change we're saving. Um, and a lot of those capacitors and copper coils and metal parts and chunks of, of crafting material um, are all pretty useful for making uh, some of the more advanced, um, you know, necessary gear. Uh, at a certain point, like you, you, you probably want to craft any everything before you consider buying it. You definitely don't want to buy things unless you absolutely have to, um, because you know mon money is tight, always. I'm a little bit concerned about this area, so uh, I haven't really done spent too much time in the swamps in this playthrough just a little bit i guess in that first episode there is a major quest i have to accomplish here that i've been putting off um because it is extremely difficult but this um repel the renegade attack here uh is no joke it is quite difficult um there's a lot of uh bandits there and i tried it a couple of times when i first started playing the game Okay. Oh, that's the helicopter doing that. Don't really want to be going near the helicopter. I wouldn't mind trying to grab this water. I don't know how to do this. Um, I thought I could... Oh, here we go. Fill. Okay, so, I mean, we get a little bit radiated. But we have ourselves a full canteen of dirty water. Um, I don't want to use it. That will actually make me drink it. And then I'm just like horribly radiating myself. Slightly toxic. It's actually not too bad. It's about as bad. Slightly toxic isn't as bad as I was like thinking. It's about as bad as some of the mutant meat I've been, I've been eating. Uh, oh, radiation poisoning plus one, 155. I mean, that's pretty bad. Um, 10 uses, though. So if we can find a campfire, uh, I should be able to um, boil that water. This is a this will be a new learning experience for me. I do love learning things. I know I, I walked right by an anomaly there. It was a little bit dicey. Now, I want to, what I want to be doing, well, what I'd like to do is, first of all, find a campfire, because I do need to cook some food. 
and um, boil that water. I suppose I can, if I find a campfire, there's there's a, a, a little area here which would likely have a potential campfire in it. Not lit, necessarily. This place is absolutely vile. Do we have any artifacts here? Nope. Mm. A darn shame. I do not want to be within sight or range of that helicopter. He had an SKS on him. Let's hope my luck keeps up. Oh, um, one major kind of, I guess you, you can uh, consider this a, a uh, character arc thing here is I, I have ditched the SKS. Mm -hmm in favor of this um, AK-104. Oh, is this place warm? That is an indicator that I, I'm walking into a very hot zone. It looks like this is only getting worse. I've never really been to this side of the Great Swamps. Looks like things are pretty nasty over here. I don't even think I've crossed this bridge before. Um, oh, okay. I don't think we're being seen. I think that's someone else shooting at... Oh, no, we are being seen right now. Something can see us. Don't know what it is. I think this is a military base I'm kind of like wandering around in that's not ideal. Well, we can just kind of head over to our uh, cache. I have no idea where they are over there, but I don't I don't want to have to deal. We are pretty hungry. I don't think I have any food or even like pretend food, like, you know, Play-Doh. You know, when Homer eats the Play-Doh to gain like two pounds. Um, I'm hearing something bad. Oh, hello. Oh God. Okay. My first encounter with snorks. Uh, wow. Yeah, snorks bad. It kind of took like a head on shot for me from the shotgun. Um, well, we'll, we'll see you soon. Okay, um, I have no idea where I am. This is semi close to snork town. Oh. All right, see you soon. Okay, do not sidestep into anomaly. Oh God. Oh God, not the time to. Oh, you guys suck. Okay, well, um. I don't think I want to go this way. I think that this is a bad way, no matter how I slice it. <laughs> okay, what? Let's say we go this way. We're gonna go a long way around. Nothing says safety like you know humming oh there's a uh, campfire okay well let's see if we can't do this no issues of skill here nice so let's um see if we can't cook this boil all let's we'll boil our water nice 
Nice. And we will cook our food. So this is should be boiled water now. Boiled water, radiation poisoning, only plus 75. Oh god. What am I shooting at this guy exactly? Are you kidding me, dude? Yo, this is actually unfair. Wow. I really wish I could permanently turn off that helicopter. I think it's it's the only thing that would actually get me to stop playing this pack. I tried desperately to turn off the helicopter and it didn't seem to work. Um, but it's just awful. I do not understand why this is a mechanic in the first place. I get that there's a military presence in the, in, in the zone and like that's all well and fine and all, but like as a mechanic, this sucks. Like this helicopter that you can't really predict. And this is after I uh, killed the Snorks as well, you know? I'm not sure what to do. First thing I'm gonna do is kill the Snork. So let's, let's hide in the bu bushes for just a moment. And just, just peek. Might just save here for a moment. Um, let's have a quick look at the map. Where am I? I think there's a military base here. There's definitely a military be machine yard there. Okay, so that's a that's a military base. I'm trying to get over here. I want the stash. This is actual garbage. This is such garbage and I, I do not care for it at all. I do not care for Mr. Helicopter and your BS, my, my friendo. I, I want to cancel the helicopter. I do not want to get to the chopper. I, I hate Mr. Chopper. Mr. Chopper can go to hell. Okay, well, you know, at this point, honestly, I think that going back like, I don't want to go back. I don't know what to do here. So we could try and go north. The only thing I can think is that um, maybe I'm just close enough to that military base that them being like constantly aggroed is like calling in a helicopter. I think I just narrowly avoided the helicopter. You better not be coming over here. I swear to God. I swear to God, dude. This is enough is enough. This is like not fun. What am I supposed to do about this helicopter? Like, I'm already struggling as is. Like, I'm just trying to feed myself. Like, I was just trying to start a fire to feed myself. And I'm having to deal with Mr. Helicopter, Snork Town, the military base. It's all a little bit much. I don't mind Snork Town. I don't mind the military base. I don't mind starving to death. I don't mind dying of thirst. I definitely don't mind being you know, yeeted by an anomaly into a uh, subspace. But I definitely do mind. Mr. Helicopter, what 
was that sound? Oh God! Jesus Christ. Mm. Saw a lunar kill a bloodsucker in the great, great, great swamp south of the road of... That's where I am. So the bandits know where I am. Jesus. That's the first time I've seen those in this game. Um, I'm gonna need to splint my leg. And bandage up. Oh, man. Did I at least get some food from that? I did. I do have some food. Do I have a flesh hide? Is that a flesh hide there? That is actually a flesh hide, so I can complete a quest. My god. Uh, you know, I'm honestly relieved that that was a bloodsucker. I was, like, terrified at the prospects of that being a chimera. Man, I'm not even going in the right direction right now. I'm gonna have to go... Oh, is that, is that a campfire? Oh, thank you. All right. We'll all... We're gonna boil our water. We're gonna cook some food. Uh, I might end up drinking some of that water um, and then just taking some pills to kind of deal. But my god, we have it's been a kind of a trial by fire today. Um, all right, we're gonna cook the other one as well. I, have, I haven't seen full health in a very long time. Also, having your shotgun jam right as you're fighting a blood circuit, it could possibly one of the most terrifying things of all time. So what is this? Radio protectant medicine. Used in the zone instead of the excessively toxic. Okay, so this is anti-rads. I, I keep hoping that maybe I have, like, at some point picked up some, like purification tablets, but I don't think I have. So we are going to eat this mildly toxic food. Because I am very hungry. And we're going to eat this other um, moderately toxic food. And something I have found um, is that I, I tried take eating some um, like toxic uh, resistance pills while I ate the food, because I figured, yeah, that'll uh, that'll help um, stave off the toxicity. No, not the case. Um, what it does is it just you just waste that medicine. You want to wait until you've actually taken on the effects of the food first, and then take the pill, because then that pill reduces your toxicity. Instead of uh, it, it does, it's not really like resistant. It kind of like reduces it instead. Um, unfortunately, these pills also kill a little bit of your satiation. Um, but uh, it's 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 worth it. So we are a little bit thirsty. This will radiate us only slightly. I should have drank it before I took the pill. But I guess they're, the effects of the pill are still in effect. Um, thirst level negative 10. We're going to probably have to take a second swig. And uh, we're actually feeling pretty good. Not awful. Could be Could be much worse, you know? Things could be much worse considering we took on... You know, snorks, um, 
We took on a helicopter. We took on a bloodsucker. We took on a military camp. And uh, somehow we are just kind of powering through all of that. Explorer's Fate Anomaly. Let's save. I'm going to pull out my artifact. Ooh, almost walked right into something there. I don't expect to find any artifacts, especially now with this piece of junk. But, you know, um, sometimes it's nice. That's an interesting sound. It's almost like the uh, anomaly is purring. Not everything purrs um, to let you know it's comfortable, you know? Uh, scorpions purr to let you know that they're being threatened. So, good good to know. You know, there's your trivia of the day. At least some scorpions, you know, there's a lot of scorpion types. I'm not sure if all of them do that. Honestly, I mean, this, the whole thing about cats purring in the first place is not entirely understood either. hearing something but it might just be environmental stuff sometimes they just throw in a couple frog sounds like that crow sounds that's pretty good this would be a horrible place to bump into a uh a bloodsucker Good thing I'm still in the uh, under the effects of that radiation pill, because I probably saved myself some radiation. Okay, um, just checking my radiation. We should be pretty pretty close to that cache, but I'm seeing a fireplace that could be bad. Pull out our good old long-range weapon. Um, Balaclava guitar. I don't know. I'm getting mixed messages, but I think that's those are stalkers. Oh no! Is that an emission? Okay, luckily I'm close to something. Uh, I'm pulling out my shotgun because there's a good chance I'll, I'm going to be assaulted. kills the birds I could probably get some uh, some goodies from those birds That is quite the effect, I have to say. It's a little bit flat, like, it's a bit much, but, I, I, you know, I love the idea of this, like, alien storm, almost. I think we should be able to exit now. 
Never mind. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, I thought we we were finished loading. Um, yeah, that's that's gotta be one of the best ways I've killed myself in this game. Not that I've killed myself too many ways. It seemed like we were through the worst of it, you know. We probably are pretty close to the, through it, but not quite. Hello. Yo, you playing your guitar in, in an emission storm? That's pretty metal, my dude. We should be good to go. I don't know. Okay, we're all right. Now, I saw some birds. Did they take off? The birds are hard to get. So, seeing them fall out of the sky... Whoa, what? That really sucks. I thought that guy was friendly. You don't expect the bandit to be playing uh, the guitar, you know? I guess I just have to get it into my head that anyone that's wearing a balaclava is probably a baddie. I just, you know, I want to be everyone's friend. You know, I don't, I don't want to be enemies. I want to be, I want to be friends. So I have a funny feeling I have to get on the roof of this thing. Because I'm not seeing anything here. Do I still have a flashlight? I don't think I do. We're in like almost pitch dark. It, the emission storm always seems to go like pitch dark for a moment. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks like the thing I need to collect up there. So we're going to have to get up on the roof. Shouldn't be too hard. Wow. That looks like the same shotgun. Mossberg. Remington. Never mind. I am completely wrong. But we also have an expert tools. Oh my god. Um, that's kind of a big deal. We got some other stuff too. Um, not, nothing really as important as that. This might be good because it could be that we could replace some of our parts. Um, yeah, I think some of these parts are actually better. Um, so let's go ahead and just field strip remove all and I'll also remove, uh, I guess it doesn't have, oh yeah, it does have some bullets. Um should be able to replace yeah okay so this is actually better and so and i don't know if the other one is better this is at 44 it is technically better and this is at 38 so we have a replacement barrel should i wish um and this um handguard is apparently garbage so we'll just go ahead and drop that um but yeah expert tools Nice. We're we're coming along in the in this world. I I really wish we could get the gunsmithing tools. Those are like far and above more important in a lot of ways for me, you know, right now, but um not complaining expert tools that means that we basically all we need now are recipe books and we can make pretty much whatever we want. Now there is an option to turn that off, that feature of this mod pack. You could just like make whatever you want so long as you have the tools uh, i have opted for like the full gated experience because i'm kind of having a good time um just kind of mulling along and doing the whole sandbox thing um did i so there's a there's something to do over here i don't know if this is in i don't think this is an agroprom Old friend, Dr. Strelux, old companion, has retired to the northwest corner of the Great Swamp. Find a way to reach him to continue your search for Strelux. So it seems like Strelux is always um, kind of an important figure in the Stalker games. I think I mentioned in my previous attempts to do this series, but not in this series, that um, when you first start playing Stalker Call of... Uh, um, Call of Chernobyl or whatever, Shadows of Chernobyl. 
there isn't a lot of story in the beginning, so to speak, except for um, you were um, you're a marked one. You should be dead, but you're not. Um, you were in a death truck. I don't know what that means. I never got far enough to f find that out, but I have a funny feeling you would eventually. And um, your major like story hook is that you have a PDA that says kill Strelok. And uh, that's really it. You had no memories of anything. Nice, nice enough little story hook. I, I appreciate the stories, uh, the story in Stalker, although I have not experienced all that much. Like I say, if this, if this takes off, uh, I'm sure some people are going to have a grievance with me playing this before I play like the original versions of Stalker. I would argue that one of the best assets of the Stalker universe is in fact the world, the universe uh, of Stalker, the, the mood, the immersion. And I don't think that it, you can do much better than this. Um, definitely these mod overhaul packs have done a lot to improve the experience, the immersion. Um, though you do lose some of the storyline, I think you gain uh, quite a lot else. So, I, I don't know, I have mixed feelings. I do want to play at least Call of Pripyat. I think Shadows of Chernobyl has aged, um, beyond the point of, you know, playability for me personally. But, um, that's just me. What do we got? 556! Hey! And we got a radio and goggles. Did I pick up the goggles? Looks like I did not. Maybe? I don't know. I did. Okay, nice. Uh, goggles, some of those things, like I say, if they have a gear on them, uh, that means that they're actually a component. You can use them to craft stuff. I, I actually found out that um, some of my broken flashlights could have been made to make a, um, a headlamp. I could have crafted a headlamp. I didn't have to necessarily buy one. Not that I have bought one. I still am kind of bumbling around in the dark in this game without a headlamp. Anything cool in here? There is a, a crate. These rarely have anything in them, and this one is no different. I suppose if I, you know, was in a situation where I needed to shed some weight, I could... I could uh, do so with one of those crates. What, what's going on with their... Do we have no no ammo? What's going on with our uh, Remington? Did I... No, we have tons of buck. I think it's jammed. Yeah, it was jammed. Not, not a good thing to be walking around with. Both an empty and jammed shotgun as our primary weapon. Uh, to, that is truly not great. So, I know there's a fence here. This is probably going to be a problem. I don't know. Looks like there's a way around it there. I would prefer to do something here. It'd be kind of nice to move forward with one of our major story missions. I have to assume that these red markers are major story missions. I've been playing this game, I don't know, I, like, it's not on Steam or anything, like, I haven't, you know, I have no way of tracking hours played, but I've been playing this game for quite a bit. Um, and I don't, I haven't seen, like, even a whiff of story yet. Can I not go through here? Invisible wall, huh? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and load. I won't let you. I don't. I won't make. Oh wait, uh, make you wait for, through this. Okay. Wait, where is this? How long ago was this? Oh, this was before I went into the cabin. Okay. Um. No, this is after I went into the cabin, and I found nothing. Sometimes the weather likes to change when I load the game. It's a small bug. Not a, not a horrible one, but... So how do I get through this fence? This is... Feels like a, an issue here. I really hope I'm not gonna have to go, like, halfway across the map to get through this fence. Hmm... Hmm...
So I, I know I can't go that way. It must be something, I don't know. Maybe yeah, I have to go through Explorer's Fate or something. Ugh, this is gonna be annoying. Especially if I have to get go through water. Like a lot of water, like this. I don't know what the deal is here. It's in, uh, this story mission is in, like, a very uncomfortable zone. Because I can't tell if I have to be in, uh, Agriprom. Or if I have to be in the Great Swamps. The story mission indicates that I have to be in the Great Swamps, but who can say. Now this looks like I should be able to go through here. And I can. Nice. Okay, we're, we're getting there. I do not really like the look of this place. This is exactly the kind of place where you could get beset by a chimera or something. I'm, I'm very... I, I don't want to have to fight my first chimera. I'm not looking forward to it, I have to say. But uh, this feels like it's the correct direction. We're still hungry. After all that junk I ate, I'm still not great. Um, yeah, I have nothing else to cook either, so that's a problem. I wonder, like, how... Can I... How do I use this? Oh, I see. This is those cook recipes. Huh. Usable fuel strike anywhere, match, matchbox, starter set, charcoal, jerry, jerry can, kerosene. So I do need to carry a fuel. Uh, fuel and probably matches. I do have fuel. But I don't think I have matches. So, um, yeah, we're, I'm learning more and more. I've learned that I can use that to cook pretty much wherever I want. I don't actually need a fire fireplace. I'm sure these are very obvious things to, to everyone, but like, you know. Um, I didn't, there's not a lot of guidance for this mod pack. Like, I looked online for a couple of tips. There's a... There's a few good sources. Okay, almost walked into something very dangerous there. There's a few good sources, and then mostly it's uh, kind of bare, and you're kind of left to your own devices. Feel like we're almost there. I don't know if we're gonna have to jump. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, what was that? That looked very useful. Uh, there's a lot of, um,. A lot of invisible walls here. I think it's underneath me. I think it's like in a cave or something. Maybe it's in this train. Search box, nothing in there. I hear a campfire. I'm kind of concerned that it's like underground or something. I'm gonna pause for a second because I I, I, I want to do a little bit of searching here. All right, I found it. It was a cave. I was correct. He was below me, and it was underground. It's just not in the way. I was dreading the idea that I'd have to like do some weird stuff to reset a map or something. I don't know. But anyway, we found him. Hello. Yes, what do you want? I've heard that Strelok is still alive. Do you know where he is? Strelok, are you sure? Quite certain. The entire zone can't stop talking about him. I need to find him. Have you got any ideas where he might be? Well, well, even after all these years, regrettably, I do not know. 
for certain. The man is like a ghost. But if there is one place he would visit somewhat frequently, it would be his hideout in the Agriprom underground. You may be able to find him there, or at least some clues. To get there, enter via a manhole somewhere around the northern complex, then check the walls underground for any large circular openings, and you could climb into one of them, uh, will lead into his hideout. Okay, thanks for the info. I suppose it's time for an adventure. If you find him, please tell him to visit an old friend every once in a while. Will do. See you. Mission complete. Bye. Article unlock characters, doctor. It's going to be a lot. Oh, will you actually do anything for me, by the way? Nothing. Okay. Wow. That's it, huh? Complete a story mission, get nothing. You'd, you'd, you'd think you'd get like a, some experience or something. If he was a doctor, at the very least, I'd pay him to uh, take care of my wounds. Would be nice. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's all good, I suppose. We are um, probably going to have to drink some more of this awful business. Who would, like, want to live all the way out of here? I guess once he gets to know the, uh, the locations of the anomalies, he's pretty much good to go. Like, it's a good, um, it, it's, it's off-putting enough for anyone to, to want to, like, go up, up here and try and find him. And yet it's pretty straightforward once you, once you know how, where to go. So I guess it's a, a good enough as any place. But like, what is he doing in his meantime? In, in the meantime, does he come out to hunt mutants? Um, so if I try, want to accomplish anything else in this session, I wouldn't mind trying to take on this bandit zone. It's going to be kind of a pig, though. Also, what was that jacket I picked up? Body armor. Extra burn resistance, electrical resistance, chemical resistance. Not as much ballistic resistance or impact or explosion, explosive. But all in all, not terrible. Um, nice, a nice b a bit of backup armor, I think. Headgear not included. Sprinting is possible. Hmm. I don't know. Might be worth uh, upgrading to. I, I don't like the lack of ballistics um, defense. Like, bullets hurt a lot more than uh, electricity. I mean, like, electricity is easy enough to avoid. You know what I'm saying? Or is it, it's it's kind of hard to dodge a bullet. So um the only thing next yeah let's let's head dead south. Might be Snorktown. But uh, if there's any place I don't want to be, it's like anywhere in the high brush, where I can get jumped. We've, uh, we've honestly accomplished quite a lot in this session. I found my first snork and my first bloodsucker. I'm not sure which one I hate more. Obviously, the bloodsuckers are terrifying. Anything that can be invisible is, like, generally speaking, not a good time. I think this is one of those things that is, like, baked into the ma map, not actually there. A little bit worried about, um, what I'm gonna find over here. I don't think I've come here before. Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. This is the place I hit out in. Pretty sure... Yeah, there's nothing here. This is where the stash was. Yeah. Okay, never mind. We're, we're totally good here. Um, we're still heading dead south if I want to take on that water tower bandit camp. It really does suck. I am... Um, I'm very certain I will probably give up on this. Again. Because I've given up on it a number of times already. Especially when my endurance is really bad right now, because I, I, I need more, you know, something to eat. Um, we can have a swig of water, though, at the very least. Get, get a bit toxic, but we're okay. And maybe we get a bit more endurance that way. So if you see way in the distance there, uh, that is our target. And there are a lot of guys guarding it. I think the last time I counted, like, ten. If I get, like, four good headshots, it will certainly make things easier. They are bandits, so at least I don't have to worry about helicopters. Um, and if I do accomplish this, there'll be tons of loot. And I will likely get a nice chunk of, uh, money. Because, uh, I mean, I, this, this mission has been pending for quite a long time. Not really seeing anyone right now. There's usually a couple of them hanging out on that tower. It might be that they haven't, uh, I'm, I'm without, like, outside of range of being able to see them. It's like, I swear to God, if that was a helicopter. That is uh, another one of those... It sounds like another one of those poltergeist-type dealies. I don't really want to deal with that right now. It could just be zombies. don't really want to deal with zombies right now either because um, taking them on will be noisy, and then I will alert the bandit camp, and then I can't get my couple of lucky shots. Okay, so let's have a better look now. Still not seeing anyone. Hmm. This is curious. This place was like absolutely littered with them before. This is the place. I hate this high brush because they can see you through the, the brush, but you can't see them basically at all. Damn, where are they? Last dawn, return to cold. That was it? It was just the one dude? Last time I came here, there was like 10 of them. I wonder if they'd been like... worn down over time by the local stalker group. Took on a little bit of radiation there. What the heck? Just the one dude, huh? What do we got? Moisen. A Mosin. I know it's it's I know it's Mosin, but I like to say Moisen. Um Huh. Is there any good parts on this? Yo, child. You are in my way. 
Um, actually not terrible. Let's uh, disassemble it. As long as we have like free rain right now. May as well. There's tons of things to shoot at that I could have I could have blown up that I never really considered doing. It's kinda wild that I'm here. I, I've been trying to fight this stupid water tower for ages. Why would you want this water tower also? Like what is so important about it? I don't know. But uh I guess we're done. I guess that is it. That's kind of disappointing, I won't lie. I was looking forward to like after you know many hours of grinding up and, and getting some better resources, better equipment, better guns and I'm a little bit more experienced now. I was I was ready to take this on. So now that it's just like the one dude, it's like, well, gee whiz. Gee whiz, dude. So, um, what's next is I'm going to head back, uh, not back, back, but like I'm going to head to the, um, the stalker camp in the swamp there's going to be a couple of people it, it's not a great place to um but you know i have to hand in a couple of quests there especially this bandit one because I, I imagine that'll be some money i hope still um maybe we can even consider taking a couple of other quests it's a good place for getting quests it's not such a great place for making trades um better to make trades in the cordon um we have our expert tools, right? Yeah, we do. So I'm not sure if we we can't like we can um, do uh, crafting in the swamp. You can do crafting anywhere, but I'm saying like uh, you know you can you can use a vice and, and try and do some stuff. But I don't think there's much point. Um, and uh, my endurance now is bad because I need to eat food. I have no food. At the very least, we can buy some food. I don't like buying food um, there, but we can buy some toxic pills and some mutant meat. So, uh, like, that'll, you know, kind of even out a little bit. Can't. I, I don't like being in this, like, position of our endurance. is like, bad. But... Better save. I don't want to have to repeat that walking. I'm probably, I think I'll probably end it here because the thing is, is that once I get back to base, I'm going to do some more management, more inventory management. You don't necessarily want to see all of that. Um, I'll hand in some quests and uh, maybe I'll take some more. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll kind of run, run us through what the new quests are in uh, the next episode. If there's nothing going on at this town then I will just kind of uh, end the episode. I keep hoping I'll open my inventory and discover like a, a, you know, caffeinated beverage or something so I can, this trip will be a little bit less arduous. That looks like a clear sky stalker. Hello friend? Question mark? Hello, you are a clear sky stalker and you have a morphine injector. Wow, that's expensive. Amazing that you have only like the one thing. Um, I won't really buy any of my stuff. That's fine. Is that something I can pick up? No. We're pretty much there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it there. Then if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.